Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to Rad Kutaro. This is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for March 11th to March 17th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, um, reminding you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Aquarius' um, star sign and for that reason the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Aquarius. If you want more personal touch, meaning uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you, you know, a prediction for it for the future, then that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing that is on the very first page, the, the front page. So that being said, going to Aquarius this week, the first card which is marking the topic of your week that is to be the uh, Knight of Wands, followed by the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation or what you should not do regarding the topic that is to be the Fool card. Then it is the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation that is to be the Tree of Cups. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, we have the Six of Swords. Very interesting reading, by the way. All right. So uh, Knight of Wands, then it is the Fool card, followed by the Tree of Cups. And the last one that is to be the Six of Swords. All right. So we do have someone who is going to be very interested in you, uh, very interested in your personality. That is one way or another. I cannot define is this going to be regarding career or relationship because it's a, um, a general reading. Although I do suspect that it is more about relationship. OK, it's more to this type of the spectrum because the third card shows a, a emotional connection and in, in, in as well kind of like um, trying to find a common vision for one another but what we have as a topic that is a person a, a very um, enterprising and, and, and courageous person which um, it's kind of like appearing in your life and uh, this person only kind of like uh, involve himself with um, undertakings, enterprises or people, you know, only if they see interest in it. Now that I... Um, now that I'm thinking of uh, that person could be interested as well into your plights and into your problems should you face many problems and they may offer your help. The thing, however, with the Knights of Wands is that this person is not afraid to take any risks and they do whatever it takes to um, reach the goal. So in other words, they will do whatever they can to make an impression into you. They will do whatever it, whatever they can to display themselves in front of you. And if this is about romantic involvement, saying you're single, uh, you know, you go into some sort of a um, event, you get introduced to that, to that person, they kind of like find you very interesting, you know, and very suitable for them. So they start calling you, asking you out and so on and so forth. My point here, guys, is that this is a very, very initiative, uh, initiative person, most likely a young man. It could be as well a young woman, you know, that it is not afraid to display the interest that they have either into your things. Should we talk about career, um, you know, your project plans, uh, uh, what you do and so on and so forth, or in you, should we talk about relationship? Uh, the accompanied card, this is going to be the uh, nine, the seven of cups here. So the formation is active enemies. And uh, basically you are to be assured of something or reassured of something, whatever um, doubts you had within yourself, for yourself. Giving you straight away an example, you have a doubt that uh, you are attractive enough. There you go. You no longer are going to have that doubt. You do have a doubt that you are not capable enough. There you go. You don't have that doubt. So this week, that person that comes around showing interest 
in your staff or in your uh, in your enterprises or in you in general is going to scatter all the doubts you have for your capabilities for your presence or in general for for you know for your ability to attract people around once again i do think that we're talking more about intimate relationship type of spectrum of reading rather than career wise but i am also giving you some examples uh, regarding career on top of that should you associate yourself with this person <clears throat> it is likely that uh, whatever disappointment you are experiencing at this very moment you know or whatever disappointment you recently experienced you are to forget about them because they are going to give you completely different concept to live for Okay, so really exciting, exciting adventures are awaiting you should you do cooperation with that guy or a girl once they display interest in your uh, endeavors or in you as a person. As, as a person, the thing, however, with the Knight of Swords, not Knight of Wands, excuse me, is that they are a little bit inconsistent. In a sense of them, in a sense of that, like I said, they are going to display interest. And if you don't feed up that interest, in other words, you become boring for them, they are gonna quickly bail, bail out. So it's very important to um, cooperate in a sense of if they, uh, let's say that this is a, about a romantic interaction here, they propose you to try something just because you don't like the sound of it, should not be a thing to stop you. Basically try to guys uh, contribute with them into the uh, mutual common experiences that is displayed in the third card, which is the three of cups here. But, <clears throat> But I am saying it to you right now because the Knight of Cups, uh, the Knight of Wands, excuse me, has that uh, negative property of quickly losing interest should the other person or the endeavor becomes boring. So they constantly seek something to feed their passion and to feed to keep up their sense of interest high. So going to the next card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is the uh, full card. And uh, that, well, it does concern you directly. I don't know how to say it really in English, but uh, basically you need to, before you actually cooperate with them, you got to make them aware that what they are jumping into, it's a very serious stuff. Meaning if that is about a romantic, um, romantic endeavor, you need to make them aware that this is not one time thing. If they really want to date with you, all right, they have to be serious enough to do so. So basically as the fool shows, um, carefree actions, uh, kind of like non-confronting standpoint and so on and so forth. This is completely the opposite that you should do. What I mean is that you have to be confronting, telling them, look, this ain't, this ain't a joke, all right? If we are to go into a relationship or we are to start dating, that should be something serious, you know, because I am tired of basically being played around and same thing goes career-wise you know that person wants to take participation into your things you got to make them aware that this is a very serious stuff and they cannot simply walk away if you know something kind of if, if shits hit the fan and so on and so forth with the full card it is important to keep uh, um, to keep in mind or to keep that person in mind that there are going to be repercussions there are going to be uh, consequences of their irrational actions because sometimes the Knights of Wands it's prone to do stupid things you know it's prone to take some uh, uncalculated risks and you are the one who needs to make the calculations with the full card but definitely what I'm trying to say here is that not the only not, not only the end goal being successful or being in a relationship should be uh, should be a virtue here, but also how you're gonna get there as well. Okay, so you, you basically need to make that person aware of the conditions you're going to comply under and on how you are understanding the things are gonna go through either business or relationship wise. Um, in, in which case, and on top of that, with the full card, uh, you have to be on the same page when it comes to idea. And uh, having it here, it means that it will pay off big time if you don't act uh, prematurely when you have something in mind, should you cooperate with that person, but instead share your idea. They're going to share their idea. And from 
these uh, these two ideas you are to make to construct one cumulative one which is going to be much better than <clears throat> either one of these ideas that is displayed here in the last card but we are going to get there in a um in a minute so the accompanied card of the four this is going to be the ten of cups and uh, that is the formation here is active neutrals the ten of cups here points that you should aim things to go without problems whatsoever so yeah it's good to contribute into a an uh, kind of like exciting enterprises but these exciting enterprises should as well have their boundaries okay uh for example you know well i'm sorry well no i'm not gonna give you that example because it's a little bit vulgar um on the vulgar side but um you need to know when to put the brakes that is my point here point here with the uh, ten of cups and should you contribute into one of these exciting enterprises with this card uh, once again uh, you need to make him aware that if they do something stupid there are going to be uh, consequences regarding it but on top of that uh, should you take the matters seriously or should you display them that the thing is serious also for yourself you have to be um how can i place it you need to adopt this mindset that uh, with this new cooperation uh, you are to resolve some issues that are lingering still because that is also property of the uh, knights of wands that's um, you know some issues are resolved through the help of somebody of that person in this case and as well you have to establish certain boundaries also okay just like i said things can go crazy but not stupid not reckless all right things are go exciting all right but not in a way of burning and so on and so forth so there should be certain boundaries that you both need to kind of like build up and not trespass them at all and i don't think that this is going to happen should you take the advice of the next card which is how you should approach the situation here with the three of cups and the three of cups is all about mutual cooperation and seeing the world the world excuse me through the same eyes so at least at the start of the cooperation regardless if this is going to be career wise or relationship wise you know you gotta have the uh, you gotta be on the same page on the majority of the things and from there together to plan these crazy enterprises that you can experience which are going to feed up the your interest their interest and is going to on top of that allow you to share more emotional experience uh, meaning that you are not going to feel awkward anymore to share your emotional state for example saying i like you i love you and so on and so forth and vice versa and with the three of cups you need to aim also the things to have fast unfoldment okay so dating stage which lasts months it should not be something that you should that you should aim once again things needs to be serious and dating for a couple of months that ain't serious thing at all i mean with the, with this card uh, on the third on the or the fourth date you pretty much need to be aware and that person needs to be aware as well what they want should this thing continue or should it not continue uh, the meaning of which is that with the three of cups you got to aim in this cooperation to see very very soon the fruits of your labor that is what i'm trying to say here um, in the meaning of that dating without knowing is this gonna end up in a relationship or not is not a thing you should contribute into th th this is not serious basically okay so i would suggest you here should you start dating or should you start working together with this person on the first or uh, on the second or a third uh kind of like um you know interaction you should confront them saying look for example if it is relationship you should say to them look we have to basically say the things with their true names uh, i do like you for example and if you are not like if you don't like me there is no point continue uh continuing that thing you know or vice versa and uh the thing is that you both need to have the same direction the same narrative the same fulcrum here the, in the framework of this uh, of this week and the accompanied card this is going to be the hangman 
and the the situation or the formation is passive uh, passive supporters uh, which means that you are definitely going to see the world and the situation itself from a, a very different a very uh, how can I place it um, yeah very different angle very different perspective here and even at the start, if this person seemed a bit hectic, it, it seemed a bit disorganized, you know, and seemed a bit disfaithful as well, or unfaithful, excuse me, uh, the more you cooperate with them, the more you're going to see that that person is doing the same thing you do. They are trying to find someone to answer to their madness. What I mean is that your madness should be their madness as well. And the hangman is another thing showing that should you decide to commit in it, that's it. I mean, you should not seek for any other options available. And that should be something that they need to do as well. So that is something falling once again as a the same page, okay? When you confront them and tell them, you know, I, I like you, I love you, I really, you know, want to try something uh, more than, than just dating and so on and so forth. Uh, should you do so, you got to be completely aware with yourself that this is it, man. I mean, that that should be the thing that I will not forlorn at all. I, I will not bail out on it at all, regardless of how the situation is going to develop forward. I am going to fight for it as long as I can and as long as I am capable of and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, you, before you make a deeper commitment than just interactions, that person as well need to be uh, need to be in the same page. Career-wise, you know, you work on the same project uh, or you hire that person to work for you, for example, and so on and so forth. And the project is becoming serious. So at the end, you, at the end of the week, you need to know uh, their standpoint. Are you ready to go as far as they need to with the project or with the job or they are just, you know, they, they don't take it seriously. And the last card that we do have for you, Aquarius, is that is the final outcome of growth, which is the Six of Swords. And that card points that a common ground is going to be found. Well, basically, the Six of Swords in this kind of situations, it does mean that the, uh, the confronting, the contradicting uh, vision, it is now combined under the banner of the common goal. Meaning being successful project-wise, career-wise, being in a relationship with someone that we like relationship-wise, okay? Now, with this card, there are going to be differences, all right? I cannot tell you that everything is going to be harmonious and there are going to be butterflies everywhere, red carpets and roses and so on and so forth. There are going to be differences in between you and that person. Career-wise, that person is going to do things in a slightly different fashion. Relationship-wise, there will be still, you know, uh, interests that you don't share together. And that is what involves the threshold that needs to be traversed with the uh, Six of Swords. Thoughts. Combined uh, or cooperating uh, for the common fulcrum here, uh, you have to basically step out of your comfort zone and they need to step out of the comfort zone as well and try each other's life or each other's uh, way, if I may say that way. So example straight away, that person really likes to watch football game, and I mean European football, because in Europe, if you say soccer, you may get beaten. It is, it is football, all right? And you like to, let's say, go partying. So why don't you do one night or one, or one evening um, watch football and one evening go partying? It is kind of like being, uh, being able to reach a compromise. Of course, at the start with the Six of Swords, it's going to be a great deal of effort, you know, to do what the other person like and to do and they, they to do what you like as well. But eventually you're going to get the hang of it. As a matter of fact, with the Six of Swords, uh, you are even going to find it amusing in a certain weird way, should I say that way. But should you traverse, my point is that should you traverse the threshold of insecurity, instability and irritation as well, um, you are to see that things aren't as bad as you thought they are. 
And uh, the last card here, or the accompanied card, that is to be the Eight of Swords, which is the formation is active supporters. And uh, basically that card points that you haven't found such a guy or such a girl who is to help you with your projects or who to to date you in a certain weird and kind of like exciting fashion, it is because you placed a very, very strict boundaries for yourself to a point where you haven't allowed yourself to experience something crazy and something very, very amusing with the Eight of Swords. So basically, it does point that you are to bring down boundaries and setbacks that you created for yourself. So these setbacks and these boundaries are there, not without your personal contribution. So that being said, Aquarius says, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was a general reading for Aquarius' star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and level uh, with every single different Aquarius. Uh, if you want more personal touch, however, meaning my, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you prediction for it uh, for the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there on the very front page of it, you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing up now. See you next time. Bye.